today we are at Yellowstone, more specifically the mud pots. I have a bunch of pictures of these bison just lounging around in the smoke like it's a hot tub. One of them was laying like just flat out. We thought he might have died, but no, he was just relaxed. This lake is actually very acidic. Um, the ranger we were talking to has seen ducks land on it and just fly away or deer wade in and run. There are some bison footprints all around these hot springs. The ranger also said that he has only ever seen one bison fall in, so they're pretty smart. The bison, I mean. Although, the rangers were pretty smart too. Here's a picture of the bison we thought might have died of relaxation. But he got up later, so he was fine. It's so acidic that it corroded these gates so fast. It's crazy. They were just destroyed. Also, one of the places around here has the acidity measurement or whatever of one, which, if you know anything about acids and that stuff, is about as acidic as it can get, so it's pretty crazy. Our keys turned out to be locked in our car, but a ranger came by and, you know, did the lock thingy and got the keys out or unlocked the car we got the keys out and we're good to go also i asked him if i could get some bison fur that i saw lying on the ground because they shed each year and he said yes and so i have it right here so that's kind of cool In case you didn't get that, I said, this is a, the little Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, which is literally its name. They couldn't think of a better name than that. It was pretty cool, though. The waterfall was quite impressive. These little bugs were all over the place, flying around and falling into the water. I'm not sure what they were doing, but they also ended up all over our car's windshield.
there were some elk just vibing in the middle of this touristy town. I'm not really sure if anyone lives in it, so that might make it not a town, but it looks like one, and they were in the middle of it. My brother told me to turn around and I saw that. It was kind of a jump scare sort of a thing, but it was really just pretty non-threatening. But still, I kind of have a phobia of elks now after that one was so aggressive back at the Grand Canyon. If you haven't seen that video, you should watch it. So we drove to this place. It was supposed to be the best place in the whole park for seeing animals and several of the rangers said it was their favorite place and by the end of it I was kind of all animaled out. So many buffalo and I did not realize until just then that they actually look very different when they've shed all their fur into their winter coats. They kind of look like yaks, like goaded yak chops. That was stupid. But yeah, um, so they look very different. And one thing I didn't realize is that bison actually used to live in Georgia. I hope someday they reintroduce them. See? Don't they look way different? Like, their faces just look a lot smaller. You'll see more bison. Like, look at that fuzzy one in the back compared to the ones in the front. You'll see more bison to be able to compare them even further. But, very strange. Well, we got stuck in a bison traffic jam, which I have to say is the coolest traffic jam I've ever been in, but the bison kept walking away, so we didn't get to be all close up with the bison, which kind of stank. And also it made us late getting back to the hotel, which meant that we got back at 1, which meant I was tired and I didn't want to do the video. My mom told me to just go to sleep, so I did. And then the Wi-Fi stopped working, and I couldn't upload it. So, that's why this video is so late.
to give this a filter so you guys could actually see the bag shape of the bison, but this was us driving away. It was very late at night, so I'm surprised you can see anything, but that's nice. Well, it's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very sorry it's late. Man, I've done so many of these videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Goodbye. And don't eat gum you find off the ground.